Welcome back to the wide and wonderful world of Helium Lemon. Uh, this is Majora's Mask, part 74. And, uh, uh, yeah, today is October 4th. The first place we're starting out here is the Oceanside Sculptural House. And we did already do this place on camera, but I didn't, like, complete it quick enough, so I didn't get the gold, the big wallet, or whatever. So, that is necessary for these next couple of pieces of heart. So I did it off screen. It was actually pretty fun. Uh, I enjoyed it. And, uh, I enjoyed doing it again. So here we talk to this guy. Says, I thought I heard some loud noises inside. This place. Did you find this place? I beg you, let me have this place. Not for free, of course. Yeah, whatever. We don't really care what he says. We just care what he gives us. And what he gives us is a big wallet. Because capitalism, yeah. And uh, well, uh, I like the little walk sideways, if you saw that. Here we are, Just we kind of just warped to the curiosity shop uh, in Clocktown. And he's only open on the final night, uh, or something like that. Uh, and he has the bomb bag for sale because uh, Sakon the Thief stole the, steals that on the first morning. So guess what we have to do? In order to buy the mask that we need, we have had to not only get that giant wallet, but wait till the next uh, cycle or so. And uh, what are you doing? Great. Oh, I like, I like the, the earth quaking. Thought I would leave that in, that's a dramatic detail. And here we are in North Clocktown, about to uh, watch the old lady get robbed again. I believe this, I showed this off at the very beginning of my LP. And uh, I'm gonna not shoot him with an arrow, but we're gonna stab him with a sword. And then ice cream happens. No, I'm kidding. You'll understand that joke at a later date, I promise. And uh... Gosh, look at that sad shield. It's just such a sad shield. Um, I don't want to get a switch, but I'm sad that I, I can't play. Well, I'm a little bit sad that I can't play Mario Maker 2, and that if I try to play Mario Maker on this channel, people say, like, that's an old game. People are playing Mario Maker 2 now, because that's always how it goes. Uh, there's not really enough that'll make people want to go back to Mario Maker 1 these days, unless people just don't have a Switch, and that's me. I just don't have a Switch. There's the All Night Mask. I'm sad that I don't have a Switch because I can't play the new Link's Awakening, because I'm gonna be a little bit sad that I can't play the new Link's Awakening, so whatever. There's the All Night Mask. Um, it might remind some people of Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. I've never actually seen that movie, and I'm not sure I plan to. But, um, what are you doing? Oh, I was looking through my inventory to see if there was something to sell to the guy, you know, in case I want to make a little extra bling bling, but... No, not today, and we don't even need any extra bling bling. At this point in the game, money is practically useless. Eustace. Eustace. I used that joke in some other video. It was just like, useless, Eustace, Eunice, Eucalyptus. So here's a very creepy looking grandmother. You, you'll notice that her face does not make biological sense. And it has a certain kind of magic to it. I don't know. A certain kind of surrealism and like fantasy and magic to it. And, uh, this is actually, if you read into that, apparently she's faking s s being senile. I was about to say senility, but I don't, I wasn't even sure that I would be pronouncing that right. She's faking like, like this whole like, oh, tortoise thing. Oh, by the way, the mask is creepy. She's like, oh, tortoise, tortoise, did you finish helping father? And like, she's pretending to be crazy so that she doesn't have to, like, eat her daughter's food, or her granddaughter's food. But it's, like, really sad if you think about it too hard. Anyway, I'm about to talk over the story, so let's, uh, 
wait till the good part of the story. The Carnival of Time. Uh, trying to get my tea. Drinking some tea while I'm doing this. For ages, people have worn masks resembling the giants who are the gods of the four worlds. Now it has become a custom for each person to bring a handmade mask to the Carnival of Time. It is said that a couple united on the day of the festival and dedicated a mask as a sign of their union, it would bring luck. The centerpiece of the carnival is the clock tower, and on the eve of all the festivities, the doors to its roof are opened. From atop the clock tower roof, a ceremony to call the gods is held and an ancient song is sung. All of these festivities for the Carnival of Time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich harvest in the year to come. Good story. What a story, Mark. You did a good job, that's all for Tortoise. Now when does the clock tower roof open? You did a good job remembering, that's the boy I'm proud of. I'll give you some candy as a Okay. A grandmother wouldn't really sound like that. She'll sound like, I'll give you some candy as a prize. Ah, I'm your grandma and I still use a Blackberry. No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna use a dumb phone. <laughs> that audio is going to be terrible. The four giants, is it? Let's see if I can do like a Derek Jacoby voice. The four giants. This tale's from long ago, when all the people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people lived together, and the four giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. One hundred steps north, one hundred steps south, one hundred steps east, one hundred steps west, one hundred steps northwest. No, I'm kidding. One hundred steps upward. Or, the ocean is about to swallow us. Your cry shall carry to us. The sky is falling. Wolf, wolf. No, the boy already cried wolf. We won't save you. The imp was an impish imp who had an impish grin. He was a friend of the giants. Why must you leave? Why do you not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all people. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang the song of prayer to the giants who lived in each of the four compass directions. It's a little bit unclear whether this takes place before the timeline of this game or not. O oh, imp, O oh, imp, we are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain. O oh, imp, leave these four worlds. Otherwise, we shall tear you apart. You are tearing me apart. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens, and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And the people rejoiced, and they worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods, and they lived happily ever after. Good job, wasn't that fun, Tortoise? I don't know. <laughs> oh, really? But you listened hard, so Mother is happy. I'll give you some candy as a prize. Okay. I'm sorry, I had to. I had to go a little bit oh, crazy for this crazy old woman. So we did that, and we were successful. And now I still have ten seconds to talk about nothing before the episode ends. How are you guys doing? How's politics? I think we should all go and go to Sweden and live in a cabin in the mountains. Okay, tune in to next time, next episode of Majora's Mask. Goodbye.